Why hello YouTube. Greetings from this text to speech editor, for my audio is still broken. Today we are going to be taking a look at Siege Nightbird. Nightbird transforms into a Cybertronian car, and originally premiered in the G1 episode into the Nightbird. This figure is a pretty good homage to Nightbird if Nightbird had a vehicle mode. But alas, she did not, for Nightbird was a robotic ninja warrior created by Dr. Fujiyama the famous scientist, to show how advanced human technology had become. Gentlemen, what you are about to see is state-of-the-art robotics. I am directly below. Enemy scrotum. She was stolen by the Decepticons and never used as a villain for more than one episode. In her car mode, she looks badass. The black contrasts hard against the purple. Like, harder than YouTube is hitting kids content because fuck them. But anyways, we have a ninja bot to transform. So let's do that before this becomes a legal disclaimer about how I am not for fucking kids and no one under the age of 13 should be watching this and my video is in compliance with general audience law and YouTube can kiss my legal ass and I am not a babysitter for kids who are watching this unsupervised and 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 and. The paint scheme on this figure is fantastic and I really like just how hardcore the black on it is. The the crotch piece is missing meaning she is not wearing underwear meaning this shit is obviously not for fucking kids am I right? The roof of the car is also a garbage fire that broke less than 5 minutes out of the packaging. I thought this thing was going to be a Chromia remold with QC improvements but it turned out to be Chromia in black with a cooler helmet and color scheme. The backpack on this thing is ugly as all hell and so is the leg kibble. But if you are willing to finick with the kibble a little bit, you can get some pretty cool action poses out of her. For example, the superhero pose, pointing and shooting, or this ninja pose which I poorly attempted. The head sculpt is where I have some gripes. It is gorgeous looking facing the front, but if she looks even slightly to the side it looks like the crimson chin dislocated his neck. I don't think there was anything else they could really do but it is a cursed image. Altogether, Nightbird is a slight improvement over the Chromia mold, but it's still not up to the standard that a lot of Siege figures are. I would give her about a 7 out of 10 considering the line she is from. This has been the Stop Motion Reviewer, and I will see you in my next review.